Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Cookie, uh. oh. stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line. <laughs> Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Let's play together with kitty cats. Get the 
game on App Store and Google Play. The Mysterious Cake Chomper One day, Daddy baked a wonderful cake. My darling, what a lovely cake you made. Can't wait to try it. We'll have it after dinner for dessert, of course. But for now, let's let it soak up the cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now I just need to find a glass cover so your cake will stay nice and fresh. Cookie decided to have a closer look at the cake. And then he decided to try it. And then... I think this cover will do nicely. Oh, where did Daddy's cake go? That's a good question. Wasn't it just sitting right there? Cookie must have eaten it. No, it wasn't me. It was... It was... The Cake Chomper! Who now? The Cake Chomper? <laughs> wow, never heard of him before. What did it look like, Cookie? Well, uh, well, he had a cape, a spotted one, and a strange metal hat. Oh. Uh, and it was wearing purple mittens. <laughs> and it was hooting like an owl. <laughs> it ate the cake and then ran off somewhere. There's a cake chomper hiding in the house somewhere, and there isn't a moment to lose. We have to track him down right away. Let's go! Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole family started searching for the mysterious cake chomper. It's not behind the sofa, either. Oh, what could the spoon be doing here? Uh, uh, the cake chomper must have accidentally dropped it. I'll look for it over here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Everybody, the cake chomper was just here, and I think it ran into Mommy's room. Cake chomper, are you here? <laughs> Look here! I found footprints, see? Looks like the cake chomper must have walked through some chalk. It would seem he has two left feet, which is weird. The chomper also transported himself into Mommy's room without leaving any more footprints. Cake chompers are even more mysterious than they are hungry. Well, I'm not going to believe it exists until I see it. Okay. Oh, it looks like the cake chomper is branching out from cake to jam. Aha! Oh, oh, oh. uh -huh. Now we know who the cake chomper is. Cookie, why didn't you just admit you ate the cake yourself? I didn't want everybody to be angry with me. I'm sorry. We're not mad at you, Cookie. Was the jam really tasty? <laughs> yeah, it was. And was the cake really yummy? It was so yummy. I have a really great idea. Cookie should just make another cake, and we can help him. That is a great idea, and I'll teach you how. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Would each of you kittens like a slice or two? Yes, please. But let's keep an extra slice on the side. Yeah, just in case good old Cake Chopper pops in for tea. <laughs> 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 so on this day, Cookie learned that it's always better to tell the truth and to cook up a solution to make up for it. The Good Deeds Agency. One day, Daddy was taking out the trash, and the kittens decided to help him. <laughs> Thank you, kittens. What lovely, helpful children helping your daddy out.
Know what? It feels great when somebody thanks you. It sure does. Should we try helping someone else out? We should start our own good deeds agency. We could help everyone. They'd all love that. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kittens turned their treehouse into the Good Deeds Agency. All they needed next were people to help. Looks like there just aren't any cats that need our help. It's just that no one knows what we're here to do. We should just walk around and help everyone. That'll get our agency's name out there. The Good Deeds Agency is here to help you. Oh, no. Looks like Mommy isn't here for us to help. That's all right. We'll just put all these buttons into jars and leave a We Helped You card. She'll see what we did and the card, and she'll thank us later. It'll be great. <laughs> Get some new dandelions. Ah. <laughs> oh. We're really good at helping people. Our good deeds agency is just the best. Here come the cats that we helped. Prepare to get thanked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? What's wrong? Dear kittens, I understand that you were only trying to be helpful, but unfortunately you seem to have created some problems. What? You've sorted my buttons by color, but I needed them sorted by shape. The shapes of the buttons were the important thing for me. We wanted to plant new flowers today, but then you flooded our garden beds. All of the soil turned into a mushy swamp. Oh, you kids did not realize my artistic vision, and you mixed up all my paints. Yellow is green, and blue is now purple. Oh. oh, no. We tried to make a good deeds agency, but made a bad one instead. <laughs> Don't feel bad, my darling kittens. Trying to help your neighbors is a wonderful idea. Just make sure you give it some thought. I have a really good idea. We can correct all of the agency's mistakes by first asking what we can help them with. And exactly how. Soon the kittens fixed all the mistakes they made and helped everyone so well that word about their good deeds agency got around to all their neighbors. Kittens, some of our neighbors could really use the good deeds agency's help. <laughs> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The good deed agency turned out to be a great idea. It's so nice to make friends and neighbors happy by helping them. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Honey. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rocks oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
You know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> what are the carefree cats? So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat, turn on your cleaning mode. What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Laundry initiated. <laughs> Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Uh. Uh. But then something went wrong. <laughs> oh, it washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding two. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. Squabbling kitties. One day, Daddy suggested that the kittens play a board game. Look at this, kittens! Ah. Huh? And this game can be played by several players at once. There's no way that you could get bored with it. Mommy and Daddy have some things to take care of, but you can play the game together in the meantime. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Okay, I'll take the first turn. But Cookie, you go first every time. Let me be first for once. No fair, I never get to go first. Let me. But I'm faster, so I should be first. Oh. Huh? Me, I'm first. <laughs> the kittens didn't want to let each other go first. It's your turn. Well, I'm done. I am not going to play with you anymore. I'm not either. Is that right? Well, in that case, I'm not playing with you two. So I'm going outside to play with my ball. The kittens thought that they would be happier without their siblings. I'm going to have so much more time to make wonderful dresses for my dollies. I'll come up with my own fashion. 
fashion collection and everyone will love, love, love it! And I'll become a great fashion designer! <laughs> Now I can devote myself completely to science and study cool stuff like plants and mushrooms. And I'll go everywhere in the world and discover all kinds of awesome things. Oh. <laughs> now I'll have lots more time to practice soccer. I'll become the captain of a famous team. Then we'll win the world championship. And win a giant trophy. But then the kittens realized that something was missing. Oh, I really wish Cookie and Pudding were here to see this. Yeah, I really wish I could share this with my brother and sister. Celebrating a win with pudding and candy would be just so awesome. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to take a look at the game board. Oh, um, are you having fun all by yourself? Sure, it's awesome. The most fun ever, ever. I'm having all the fun in the world. Huh? Boris came over to huh? visit the kittens. Who's there? It's Boris. Hi, Hi there, Boris. Boris. Hi, guys. Boris, come play a game with me. No, come play with me, Boris. We'd have way more fun if you played with me. Why don't we all play it together? We decided that we're never playing together again. Because someone always wants to be the one that plays first. Yeah, or getting offended by everything. We were fighting the whole time. I don't have any brothers or sisters at home, so I came to play with all of you, but you're fighting. Boris, don't leave. Let's all play together. I'll even let you be the one to play first. Can I play? I'm really tired of just sitting alone. I agree. I've got a really good idea. We should stop fighting over stuff and play together instead. <laughs> Looks like the game is at full swing. Have you got room there for two more players? <gasps> Your father and I would be very happy to play the game with you. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats realized that it's not that important if you go first or if you win, as long as your friends and family are with you. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves, just like this one. Ah! <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark but very exciting. Hey, hey! Hi! <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes. And they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> <laughs> I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> huh? Huh? Uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here, I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Oh. 
Hey, Grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found! I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right. Be back soon. That was your mommy, telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no. We're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. Little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Forgive and forget. One day, the kittens decided to build a model of their home. Candy drew a pretty diagram of the house. Kittens, that's a wonderful idea. I can sew little doll versions of the family, and they can live in the little model house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Candy went to the store to get some colored paper. Right, come along. I'll find you some cardboard, some glue, and scissors. Cookie and Pudding worked on the frame of the house following Candy's diagram. My half of the model's done, and it's awesome! All that's left is to cover it with colored paper! Oh. No, Cookie. <coughs> you just ruined a very important part. Well, would you like to crush part of my half of the model? That'd be kind of fair, right? Sure, all right. Huh? Why'd you have to break my roof? That's way harder to fix than the part I broke off yours. Uh, how about you cut off one of the walls of mine? All right. Oops. The, all right, now do I get to destroy your half of the house model? No. Just let me think for a minute. I'll find a way to make it up to you. Cookie offered Pudding his favorite, tomato juice. So now are we even? I don't think so. I don't really like tomato juice. I like apple juice much better. Then I gave up my juice for nothing at all? Uh, well, do you think we'd be even if I gave you my candy? Ah, it's a deal. I like candy very much. Let's go finish the house. Just wait a minute. Your half of the model is still fine, and plus, you got the candy. My house half is just rubble. All I got was that juice I don't even like the flavor of. No fair. <laughs> well, then what if I gave you my ship? But 
my ship's really awesome. It's way cooler than half of a model. What if I trade my magnifying glass to you? But wait, I love my magnifying glass so much. I could give you something besides that, or do something for you instead. Cookie and Pudding tried making it up to each other by giving gifts and doing nice things. Some great colored paper. <gasps> Why'd you splash paint on my drawing of the house? I worked really hard making that. We're sorry. We apologize. Is there anything we can do for you to make it up? If you want, you can have my ship. My magnifying glass, too. I can push you on a swing for a long time. And then I can give you my dessert. This way we could really make it up to you. All right, stop, stop, stop. If someone you know does something wrong by mistake, you just need to work to fix that. Isn't that right, Candy? Yes, that's right. I have a really good idea. Pudding and Cookie, I don't want you to do anything. You had me the second you said you're sorry. I forgive you. Oh, wow, that was simple. Pudding, I absolutely forgive you. <laughs> I absolutely forgive you too, Cookie. Well done. We'll work up a nice new diagram and build another house. So, so awesome! awesome. Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! And that's how the kitty cats realize that they have to forgive each other for making mistakes, so everyone in the little house could live happily and help each other. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Hi there! Hi there! Hello, Dart! We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We could help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you! you. Me wow me wow me wow me wow A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh. Could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> hey, my teeth are up here! It's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky. They must be stopped. Huh? Onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, Run for your lives. There are onions in the soup. Uh, you could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm. Which one should I wear? Ah, thanks a lot! If there were inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ha <laughs> ha! 
The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dark didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's brilliant! Mee-wow, 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 mee-wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something, especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention. Cookie's Scooter Skills. One day, the kitten saw a commercial showing a cat on a super fab scooter. <laughs> Super Steel Scooters are so cool, they'll make you cooler than this cool cat. Awesome! Daddy, I need the cool scooter from the commercial. I've been saving up. I want to use my money to get it. Ah, so an ordinary scooter simply won't do? No, a normal one doesn't come close to the same level of coolness. <laughs> okay, well, since you're paying for most of it, I guess we better get the cool one. Ah, so awesome! Mee-wow, 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 mee-wow! At the store, Cookie bought everything he needed to look just like the cat in the TV commercial. Cookie, you look like the coolest cat of all time. You do look quite handsome. Now I'm going to be able to do some super cool tricks. Watch this. Whoa! Now, was that a cool trick or not? Not. Falling's not cool at all. It's a really good thing that Cookie's wearing a helmet and pads. I'm only warming up, so I'll be even cooler than the coolest cat who ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Something's wrong with this dumb little ramp, obviously. How about instead I just jump over the sandbox? Whoa. Turns out you're the coolest cat never. Which doesn't look handsome at all. I know why none of my tricks are working. Obviously, the scooter's broken. You need to take it to the place you got it and trade it in for a good one. Daddy and the kittens went to the store to let the sales cat examine the scooter. There's nothing wrong with this scooter. In fact, it's in perfect working order. Yeah? Then could my helmet be messed up? Nothing wrong with the helmet. What about the... Your safety pads are also just fine. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. We'll get going then. Maybe it just fixed itself on the way here somehow. Cookie, what part exactly was broken? Cookie couldn't do super cool stunts, like the awesome rider on TV. Well, since we've learned it isn't broken, maybe you can do cool tricks now. Okay, I'll try. I'm going to ride down these oh. steps. Cookie, stop! <laughs> Uh, 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 Cookie, you don't know how to ride downstairs, and I don't either. Does that mean that the cool TV cat can't really do them? And the super skill scooter isn't really cool at all? Were they just lying about it? <laughs> Not at all. That cat on TV can really do those cool tricks. Come with me. I'll show you what I mean. Daddy and the kittens went to the skate park, where the cat from the commercial was practicing. 
Wow! I can't make my scooter do all that, even though I've got the same exact model you have. <laughs> I could do all this stuff on my scooter because I practice all the time. Like, for hours and hours every day. It's a lot of hard work. Oh, so then it's not the scooter that's cool, but the rider. I have a really good idea. Cookie just needs some time to practice. If he does, soon he'll be doing lots of super cool tricks. Yeah, that's right. I'd be glad to give the little dude a lesson or two. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! The kittens learn that every skill requires practice. Then you can do cool tricks on any scooter. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun times. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Cookie wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Ha-ha, oh, oh. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I 
think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. <laughs> Treasures of ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting. Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool! Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today. It's the weekend. Wake up, kids. Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> right, Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> oh, hooray! We finally found the treasures of the pyramid. I can't wait to see it. Come on, huh? let's open it. Hold on. Huh? Who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens, who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. 
Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Oh. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. How are we supposed to get it down from up there? Uh, we could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. What if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ha! Huh? Mm. Huh. Grandma, that was amazing! You look like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. <sighs> Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! Huh? <laughs> And 
remember when I tried volleyball? Uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, wow, those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we, we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, mm. except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. 
Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar in the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Uh, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh. That's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you are all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If you practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome, and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> Kittens on time. One day, Cookie, Pudding, Candy, and Mustard were playing on the playground. I'm putting on a Cinderella play for my mommy's birthday. Of course, I'll play Cinderella. But would you guys play all the other parts? I can play the prince, and Pudding can play the king. Hmm. Candy can be the fairy godmother, <laughs> and Mustard can be the evil stepmother. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, sure. We also need a place to rehearse. That's no problem. We can have the rehearsals at our tree house. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! It wasn't very long until the play needed to be ready for Cupcake's mom's birthday, so the kittens worked very hard getting their costumes ready. Just as planned, they hurried to the treehouse in the morning to start rehearsals. Where's Cupcake, huh? I got up very early to be here. I'm sorry. I switched my alarm off so I didn't get up on time.
everyone. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's lunchtime. I'm going home. We'll just rehearse without the evil stepmother. But I've only memorized the first part of the play, the evil stepmother part. So we can just start again tomorrow. The next morning, Cupcake was late again. I just can't seem to wake up on time. Plus, I'm also running late to my dance class. We'll just have to rehearse fast, then. Cinderella, you have to bake a dress, scrub the beans, and sew the buttons on the stove. What? I think you mixed some things up there. Well, Ooh. welcome to the fancy royal ball. Did Ooh. somebody order one glass slipper? That comes later. You've all got to learn your parts better. We'll try to rehearse again tomorrow, all right? I have to get to my dance class. Bye. <laughs> but the next morning, Cupcake was late yet again. And they only had one rehearsal left before her mom's birthday. Uh, Kindly stuff huh? your dainty foot in this slipper. No, the slipper part's at the end. How can we perform this play if none of you learn your parts right? But you're always late, Cupcake. We can never rehearse our parts because we're waiting for you. Oh, yes, you're right. I just don't know how I'll ever wake up on time. Maybe you should stay awake all night. Then Cupcake would end up falling asleep right on stage. <sighs> Uh, maybe you should get the biggest alarm clock ever! I mean, super big! <sighs> Where would we ever get an alarm clock that big? I have a really good idea! Cupcake needs to put her alarm clock away from her bed. That way she won't switch it off. If Cupcake's trying to get the alarm clock way up there, she'll wake up for sure. Great idea. That's what I'll do. The next morning, the kittens were surprised. Well, good morning, everybody. I've been waiting for you to rehearse. And that day, everyone got a chance to memorize and rehearse their lines. <laughs> My lady, you're not leaving yet. I'm afraid I must be going now. But perhaps we'll meet again someday. And I promise that I won't be late. Happy birthday! Thank you, everyone. You were just amazing. But my cupcake is such a sleepyhead. How on earth did you get all of this work done? Thanks to the kitty cats, I'm not a sleepyhead anymore, Mommy. They helped me learn to get up on time. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cupcake's mom loved the surprise. And Cupcake has been on time ever since.